Northeast Florida out, like 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 Hey, how's it going everybody? So today on Northeast Florida Outdoors, I grabbed up one of my black powder guns and I was going to get it ready for the season and I guess you know I shot it last season and thought I had cleaned it but I didn't so the results weren't too good it's all rusted up I hadn't cleaned it or oiled it and it has like black powder residue all in it needless to say I went to pull back the hammer and a spring or something broke inside it so i'm gonna go ahead and take it apart and see what i can find out about it and hopefully it turns out good i've watched a, a couple videos and um learned how to maybe make a spring see how that ain't strong enough to push this frizzing open right here that's the problem when that flint hits it not gonna pop it open so whatever I broke inside this mechanism right here is what we're gonna have to fix so I'm gonna get started taking it apart and we'll see how it goes pray for me okay Got the barrel out, and it's real rusty inside there. It's rough looking, I don't know if it's gonna be able to get brought back to life or not. But we'll try and see what we can do. Seems that I found the broken piece right here. Don't know where it came from yet, but we'll figure it out. I think it broke off right in here that piece keeps that more down pressure on that trigger when it comes up some kind of way all right everyone there's your culprit a broke main spring and as you see I have found one for sale and it don't cost too much so I'll be able to get this thing back up and running in no time Will I hunt with it? Probably not. It takes too long to fire for deer. Maybe do some squirrel hunting or something like that. Shoot some number six shot out of it. But that's it for this one. Now to get this thing all put back together. That's going to be the fun part. I'm going to go ahead and clean it up real good and uh, try to get it in good work and order for when I get that spring in the mail. And I will do another video to get it all put back together. So I got my deer hunter 50 cal all took apart. I killed it. It has to be put all back together. I'm in the process of cleaning it now and it is a mess. I'm telling you, I broke the main spring and it's just horrible. Next time, I guess this is a lesson learned. Next time I will keep it clean and oiled and all that good stuff. What happened, I originally got this one and <clears throat> I, went and shot it a few times at the range and it took so long to go off that I was not going to be able to deer hunt with it. It just, it'd be a miracle. I could not find a 4F black powder anywhere so it won't go off fast. I tried crushing it up and all that stuff and that didn't work out too good. It just wouldn't fire fast enough. So now I went and got me a deer 150 cal that's a percussion cap and it goes off exactly how I want it to. So anyways, at least it's a cheap fix and I'll get it back up and running soon. At least to be able to go to the range and shoot. If not, it'll be a wall ornament or, you know, I've, I've learned that I could shoot shot out of these things. So I'll go take it deer hunt and let one of the kids use it for fun or I'll use it and let one of them use one of the other easier ones. But it's just going to be a fun little project to get it all put back together. So if you've had any issues with these mainsprings breaking or 
anything like that with these particular traditions deer 150 cows let me know and like subscribe comment and just let me know your experiences with these type of of guns and what is your a uh, way of cleaning these and keeping these conditioned and different things like that. I was real amateur when I got this one and I've kept up the other one a little better. I'll make a video about it soon reviewing it and stuff. It's been very good because I cleaned it. So there you go. But I'm going to get this thing put all back together and go from there. Before I put it all back together, I'm cleaning it up and spraying and letting this stuff soak on it and uh, trying to get all this stuff, you know, cleaned up. I'm gonna boil some water and clean the, the bore out. Clean the barrel real good. Like I said, this was the culprit, so I'll get a new one of these. Broke off right there. And that just holds pressure on that trigger for when it comes. It comes strong enough to be able to get my flint to spark. And hopefully I'll get this thing cleaned up good enough where I can get sparks out of it because as of right now, it's real oily and I might need y'all's help with that. Like I said, comment, let me know what's going on, how to get this thing, all the oil off of the parts that I don't need oil on. Really appreciate you watching. Comment, let me know. So I've been letting this cleaner soak on here for a while. We're gonna go ahead and with some dish soap. Try to get some of this rust off of the outside of it. And then also going to run some dish soap through the bore as well with some boiling hot water that I got on the stove right now. Seen some people heard that that's the way to do it. So I'm gonna find out. They say if you do it with boiling hot water, because I can't remove my breech plug, it is in there. So if you do it with boiling hot water, it'll also dry it as you're doing it, so that's a cool, fun fact. We'll have to get some oven mitts on or something though, because this barrel is gonna get really hot. Okay, now that I've got a good bit of rust off the outside of this barrel, I'm gonna go ahead and dump my hot water on the inside and also the dish detergent. I've already sprayed some cleaner down the barrel too, so that's been in there soaking. Safety first. Also faith, family, and friends. Don't try this at home. some sort of funnel. It's drying off the outside. It's coming off down this hole out down here. That's pretty cool.
All right, everybody, so I think I got this thing all taken care of for now. Ordered my part. We'll go ahead and uh, wipe it down real good with some oil. I've already been oiling it up. I got it all put back together, and we will see if I can get this thing on here when I get to the Like I said, though, y'all like, subscribe, comment. Let me know, you know, what I could have done different. What do y'all use to clean your muzzle loaders with? And you know, I need some help. I'm, I'm kind of a beginner in the whole muzzle loader thing. So, hey everybody, welcome back to Northeast Florida Outdoors. I'm Trevor, and I got to finish working on this muzzle loader. I finally got my part in the mail. This main spring that I got to replace. So y'all check it out, and we will be coming with you real quick with a fixed flip. So we're going to go ahead and get started working on this thing and I'll go ahead and break it down and we'll get right to it. Here's the new part. Go ahead and get that out. I'm interested to see if I'm going to be able to get this thing put back together right. Y'all might have to bear with me. But this thing here was broke. Okay, first thing I want to do. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and put it back together, get it all reassembled, and see how it does.
we gotta make sure everything works properly. Oh yeah. Ain't flopping no more. Half cock, full cock. Prison's kind of stiff. I think I'm gonna put some oil up in here first. Let's see what it does. Uh oh, we got sparkage, folks. We got sparkage. We got some sparkage. Oh, yeah, we're ready to go. So, as y'all saw today on the channel, I got my flintlock back working. I'm really excited about that. Never done that before. And uh, just another part of my journey. We're putting out videos, learning how to fix stuff. I'm really excited about it. Y'all stay tuned. I got some pretty good videos coming up. I got to edit. And we are going to have a lot of fun here. Northeast Florida Outdoors, over and out.